Introducing Food Ladders A way of seeing community food provision People attain food security when they can easily access and use the food they need to live their best lives. Some people face barriers in attaining food security. Food Ladders imagines the community food system as a ladder. People can use this ladder to attain food security. The ladder is made up of three connected rungs. Each rung represents a different type of activity. Rung 1 is catching. This is emergency activity, done two or four people, in crisis situations where people can't access the resources they need. Examples might include emergency food parcels, free meal provision, cash payments and voucher schemes, and basic signposting. The second rung is capacity building. This is supported activity, done with people, to help build skills, stability and resilience. Examples might include community gardening, cookery, food hygiene and nutrition training, food clubs and social supermarkets, and social eating. The third rung is self-organising. This is community-led activity, done by people, when they have the abilities and opportunities to meet their own needs and pursue their shared interests. Examples might include community-owned growing spaces, local food cooperatives and businesses, community-led campaigns on local issues, and resilient communities that look out for one another. Rung activities can affect a range of different areas of people's lives. Areas might include food, social life, the environment, economy, and physical or mental health. No rung is more important than any others. A ladder only works if all the rungs are there. People often use multiple rungs at the same time and move up and down the ladder depending on their circumstances. Sometimes people will need help to reach further rungs. All the rungs need to be connected to one another. Examples of this might include local or area-wide food partnerships, collaboration between organisations, sharing of resources and information, signposting and referral systems, and community anchor organisations. The complete ladder gives people a range of opportunities and support to achieve resilient food security. Many places have ladders with missing, weak or unconnected rungs, especially rungs 2 and 3. Resources should be allocated to fill the gaps and reinforce existing rungs. Alongside the food ladder, there are other important ways of reducing barriers to food security. We can make food security more attainable, for example by keeping prices affordable, ensuring that shops are accessible and that they stock sufficient and appropriate produce for the communities that they serve. We can also increase the baseline support that people have access to, for example through universal basic income, universal basic services and strengthened social security. All communities can benefit from food ladders. The approach aims to complement national campaigns fostering local change and empowering people to shape their own relationships with food.